Hello and welcome to Hearts of Iron, La Resistance. It is finally here. Uh, it releases the 25th of February and God, it has been a long time. It has been a year exactly minus three days. The 28th of February last year, Man the Guns got released. Oh boy, it's been a while. Well, let's quickly go over all the new features that are in the game. But we're going to play a little bit as England. <laughs> I've played a little bit now as France and I played a little bit as Spain. I tried Portugal to look at their focus tree, but I want to play as the United Kingdom. Don't ask me why. Well, you might actually ask me why. I don't want to play France, nor do I want to play Spain. Or Portugal, for that matter. I want to do a little bit of a long game. Um, actually, yeah, I've been playing at Veteran. Ooh, scary shit. Not gonna do that again. Um, yeah, let's just quickly go over everything that is added onto it. And it is, it, it is a lot. Um, it, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, it's not like, like, um, not everything is about as obviously new, but there is a lot of new shit. Um, let's just go over it. We have, um, a new focus tree for France, for example. No longer that funky shit. This is now it. And what I love mostly about the focus tree system, these buttons, which allow you to select what you want to see, which is just great. And you just have a fucking search bar. You can just search for something like uh, research. And it shows you things that involve research. Uh, and it even like more specifically, you can search for stuff and it just searches through every text and it's really cool. Also, uh, zooming, that's really great. That's just such a small thing, and I love it. I didn't even know there was something here. <laughs> All right. Um, new focus tree for Spain. Um, and depending on which part of Spain you play, you might have a different focus tree. You have a new focus tree for Portugal. Uh, yeah. That's uh, one hell of a spicy thing. We have an entirely overhaul, entire overhaul for how Spain civil war functions. It is cool. Um, eventually fires between the nationalists and the Demo uh, 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 Democrats. Uh, later on, the uh, anarchists join in. And if that goes on long enough, even the Carlists join in, which are the uh, royalists. So fun stuff. We have an entirely new espionage system. And I cannot show you anything. So let's start a thing. Um, I like this icon. So we'll do, do form a agency immediately while we're at it. Uh, we have a new resistance and support window. Weep. If people like you a little bit more, they might actually give you a little bit more recruitable population. So there are some, there are reasons to make people like you instead of just, you know, suppressing the fuck out of him. Um, and there's this new oversight system. You can actually change what your garrisons are um, and they'll eat actual manpower and they will eat equipment um yeah you don't want you don't want you to use your tank brigades to do that but you can still make like a military police and just uh they will automatically add it into that that kind of stuff all right um you have your new kind of oversight things this will you know this dumps more uh refuses uh, this will lead to less resistance in your things However, it will also lower the compliance of your local population, as well as increase the amount of manpower that's required to get shit done. Right? That simple. It reduces this bar, which can be used to make um, collaborative governments, which is really useful uh, at long stages of the war. Well, for a second I thought, like, what? Well, my focus is tiny. Um, anything else? Yeah, collaborative governments. Oh, right, yeah, got a new code cracking system, but that's within the espionage cryptology. That's right here. I'll show you that later. And we have two new researches, and that is these three. <laughs> so we got five, technically. <laughs> and we've got these two. Recon, scout planes, and that kind of stuff. Wait, are these considered special forces? Now, these are, okay, these are armored cars. Um, I am still looking forward to using these. I haven't really had a chance yet. And I want to see what that does for a lot of things. So first things first, we're going to start off with the usual setup and layout. Uh, why play as England? I tried playing as France and then I fucked up my recordings and I didn't really enjoy it that much. 
France is no longer as easy to play, in my opinion, but it might be that I was playing on Veteran. Um, so, yeah. We are going to play historically. So steady as she goes. And let's just loompa, uh, loompa, loompa everything in here. Can I just please get all of those idiots in here? Thank you. Right, let's switch you all over to regular infantry divisions. And we'll dump another few of them in here. There we go. All right. Little army set up. Done. Um, maximize London. Right, I always keep forgetting about that. Uh, are we going to do thirds? Of the rule of thirds? No, I'm going to do half. All right. Yeah, so six. Let's start with that. Um... Uh, let's see, this will be four. Really? That's not correct. What the hell? There's a building in here? No, no, I am, I am genuinely st stupid. I am not a smart man. Please, Lord, forgive me. Uh, so that's gonna be five. Um, there we go, right. Um... Yeah, that's the way I want to do things. Uh, one third of the military factories will be... Not military, there will be naval factories. I don't want to do bombers. I don't want to do light tanks right now. I do want to do all of this. And I do want to do, 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 do. I need carrier fighters. I need carrier naval bombers. And I need close air support, mind you. And holy shit, we have a lot of large amount of naval that needs to finish production. So let's just do that. And then we'll do the on pause. Now I want to basically, uh, there's two reasons I don't want to play France. One, I've played them and I fucked up my recording and I, that usually gives me a bit of a sour feeling. Yeah, I know. Um, and as such, I don't really feel like playing them anymore. Even though I noticed some mistakes in my gameplay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, that's so fine. And yoink. All right. And uh, then we'll go up to five, five, two, 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 two. There we go. We have nothing in basic training. So we'll train at least 12 more. There we go. Okay. And uh, we've got some decisions available. Don't care about the Netherlands because they will be conquered anyway. And I think this button might be new that it disables all the decisions here. But yeah, that's basically all there is to it. We have some Air Force related crap that I need to do. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Why am I having that song in my head? I just deselected sadly a lot of stuff. So let me just select a couple more. There we go. All right. All right, that will get all of them over there. And then it's just the Navy, and I can do that a little bit easier. Select this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, and all send them over uh, in this guy. Wait, how did it not work? Uh, all right, is that thing full? Is that the issue? No, none of this is working. Why is it not working? Oh, I need to select the damn fleets. And there we go. Yep. Are you going to abandon your colonies? No. Maybe. I don't know yet, actually. Stop asking me the hard stuff and merge up all right here. So we can start working on some of their templates. And that is basically the start of the game, people. All right, cool. Um, That is expensive on fuel, though, to get it all going. Um, da -da 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 -da. Merge up. There we go. And is there any other aircraft still not in this list? So you are naval bombers. Don't care. So there should be two airings left. No, there isn't. There is another one. Well, are you in Yorkshire? Singapore. Oh, you're still flying with your naval bombers. So eat them out of there. And I'm going to just feed everything to England. Um, start a land lease. All right, England. That, my dear sir, is the British Raj. 48 and 240, so 48 and about 240. 
We'll send it to him once, send it. There we go, get rid of that shit. No, then we'll stop complaining. Also, got this new buttons here. Um, not that I will be able to find anything, because uh, I never am. Because I never am. Jesus Christ, I am bad at talking. It's the only thing I have to do. And I am um, utterly garbage at it. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm pretty rush, except our land lease. You got them better, we'll do. Um, we'll get some more stuff. Okay, everything is gonna go in reserve. Okay, there we go. And King George is dead. Right, things are happening, and I just hit the damn table, and I don't even know if my mic's still working. It is. Good, good. All right. Sit down, relax, and we got the SIS. That is a missed opportunity if I've ever seen one, so we're gonna go to uh, MI6. You know what? MI7 will do. And let's take a look what we got. We have all kinds of things. Woohoo! Anyway. You have these things called operatives. You recruit every 30 days an operative once a slot becomes available. Um, you start with one. You get another one when you get five of these upgrades. And you can get a, th you can get a third or fourth or fifth one if you are part of a, uh, of a faction. You are the leader and you already become the spy master. For every member of the faction that's not a puppet, every two members I believe, you get another one. It says, I think it says that here, more slots can be obtained as a spy master for every second country joining your faction, excluding your puppets. All right, so that's that. Now we're gonna form a cryptology department. So let's start with that. Um, and after that, I think, actually cancel that. Yes, I think I'm gonna start with commando training and fuck off Windows Defender. I like that it's just giving me the, this message like, <gasps> Ping message, no, pay attention to me. I haven't found anything. Then just don't give me the message. I know you haven't found anything because you're not supposed to find anything. And if you disable the damn thing, it just keeps bitching about, oh, go up the thing. Okay, so that's enough about Windows Defender. Um, yeah, just steady as she goes. Um, um, all right, so we can go for the global defense or just home defense. Um, this is the more aggressive way to do things. And as I said, I'm gonna go historical. However, I am gonna go and reinforce the empire. But for now, is there something we can do? Neville Chamberlain is coming due to country leader. Every every man will do his duty. Um, blip. Uh, can I get rid of the king, uh, George? George. So this is the only thing that involves George. Is the guy called George? Edward. <laughs> Wrong person. <laughs> right. Um, so that is one of the Edward things. Um... Well, something you could do with him, I think, get rid of them, but I don't remember exactly. Well, whatever, don't really care right now. Okay. There are some changes, I believe, in the trees, but not a lot. Um, reinforce the Empire. Uh, da, 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 da. If decolonizing has not been arc achieved within two years before of becoming communist, the civil war will start. Okay. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. I, have I not done this recently as an achievement run? Becoming the Imperial Federation? Huh. Maybe I should just decolonize? Maybe I should not play as England. Crap. I could tag over into France. Nah. Right, so we'll just go for revisiting the colonial policy. Um, I think that's historically as interesting as anything else. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I'll I'll do something different. I don't have achievements enabled, so. But I think what I just realized is that I think I've done this campaign not that long ago. How long ago did is not that long ago? I think the final episode may have been like a month ago. Yeah. 
yeah, final episode was a month ago of the English Achievement Run. So if you want to see me form the uh, English Empire and everything like that, there's a series on that. Not with Legacy Stars, of course, because it was still the previous patch and I wanted to do a couple of achievements. Right, so we have a guy ready. Plus, I believe we just also finished the upgrade for... And I don't know if we got him in time. So... Double agent. This operative has been funded from the enemy into our surface. Holy shit. So this guy is German as well as British. But can we trust him? I've never seen double agents before. That's really cool. You know what? I like Michael here. So we'll <laughs> we'll pick him up and we'll keep uh, we'll keep uh, investing in here. Um, let's get these five. And Michael will go to Germany and have a little bit of fun. It's it's a bit, you know, the preemptive crap. Because you know Germany's going to be a bitch. Hey, now we know Germany's going to be a bitch. Because they just re-militarized the Rhineland. Oh no, what are you doing, Germany? Please don't. Please. Please, Germany, stop. Anyway. Um, what do we have here? Region-wide industrial integration. Let's not... Anything interesting in here? Political power gain, silent workhorse. I think I might pick up a silent workhorse as, as the first thing we can pick up. What are you bitching about? Oh, we can't withdraw from the. Oh, you can, but. I don't care. So, yeah, we're gonna revisit the colonial thing. Um, so, this shouldn't be. If the colonization has been achieved for two years. Of becoming two years of becoming communist, a civil war will start. But I don't want to become communist. I don't want to become communists or anything like that. I want to start rearming myself. Oh yeah, that's the German Dutch trade. I never really got why I wanted to influence this Croat because they always invade them. So there, this problem just never exists, in my opinion. Now, big question is that I'm wondering. Yes, I have an elusive gentleman. I would love to have an agency upgrade. Has completed agency upgrade? What the? Is that in something in here? Let's see, upgrade, if I could spell perhaps, but no. So it is something in the thing here. Let's form the cryptology department. Oh, and I'm not keeping track of all of my research. Oops. Synthetic refineries is important. And we'll see how it goes. Has completed what? Agency upgrade. It might be the machine learning thing that we need, but I'll, I'll take a look at that later. Um, we are actually. I'm gonna do this again, but I'm gonna try something. I don't have the odd modify victory from the Great War, do I? No, I don't. All right. So the guy advocates. He does. Oh, whatever. Um. Hmm. Which is good. But I, the thing is, I just don't want to go for the things anymore. Yeah. I doubt this was a good idea, but I think it's going to be interesting, especially when a, with a lot of spies going on and espionage and their own country. I think in the long run, it is more powerful. Well, we can't do that yet. So uh, we'll guide the colonials. Uh, we could get a lot of spies if we do this, but I think... Um, I don't care about any other thing, really. Well, we'll do that, and... Okay, we formed the department. Did that enable... Alan, yeah, it did enable Alan Turing, alright. Okay, no ciphers being decrypted. Well, we... We don't trust the Germans, so we'll start. This is basically your encryption decryption thing. It is now completely tied on into your uh, in this department. So 
basically, this is your uh, decryption level. No, it's your encryption level, sorry. Yes. And this is your decryption level. So this is the, uh, the speed at which you decrypt. And this is the speed you encrypt. Or the, how difficult it is for you to be... Yeah, that. Alright, so a new operative is being recruited. So first I want to get... Uh, so we'll go for the intelligence. Then we'll go for the uh, cryptology department. And I think we're going to go after this one then. Then we operations. Then we'll just go to the defense. So we're going to basically keep at all times investing in it. it might be a little bit expensive, but I think it will be worthwhile in the long run. However, I don't know for sure. And I want to get in. I want to get in some dingoes. So let's get the maintenance companies. I never really play as England. England is always found. I found it found a, a weird nation, but oh well. Um, reinforcements, upgrades, operations, garrisons, and there we go. Yes, there's a lot of new ways of investing your manpower and all that kind of crap. Um, let's get the naval department. We can go recruit another guy. You know what? Getting these double agents that are good at working against Germany now. I, this might. Now I don't know this, but logic would dictate that there is a risk that this guy um, is also a spy for Germany or Yugoslavia. I don't know how this exactly works, but we are MI7 and we have got some great screening procedures, or not? I don't know. All right, so this basically these upgrades in the top give me a better insight in the intel ledger. This is your new intel ledger, and it is completely integrated with your espionage, a hundred percent. And there's a lot of cool stuff in here. For example, if you ha have enough knowledge of the enemy, you can actually see what they are, uh, whatever what they've got researched, that kind of stuff. The numbers that you can see up here, what I'm now building at, is basically giving me a solid boost in that tree. Uh, so it's partially dependent on... I don't care. I do want to go for motorized army later, but not... Uh, do I have, I have motorized research, right? Apparently I do not. No. I do. So, I don't know where that's coming from. Oh well. Might as well. Alright, so what we can do, we have a couple of operations open now. So we can try to capture their cyber, but this is considered fairly risky, so let's not. So let's just try to infiltrate their civilian government and commence it when ready. It takes about 15 days to prep, and this just only takes some civilian factories. But sometimes this takes resources as support equipment, weapons, and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot to be done there. And we just got a large amount of decryption power. This didn't enable other spikes. Somehow I thought that would be the case. Oh well. We got another operative, and... This guy's an escape... This is an escape artist. I don't know if this refreshes if I do not recruit. Um, I just recruited a random person. I have no idea who you are. However, you are going to... Let's see. Why don't you... That might be funny. To see if we can get Germany to become a democratic power, or even in Moscow. Oh, that might be a very interesting thing to do. Not focus on Germany, but get the Russians in a in in a in a in a, in a bit of a pickle. The Russians still have their old focus tree. It is it, it is this thing is garbage by now. But I don't believe the Russians have any natural pressure towards communism. So what we could do is start establishing a network in Russia, in several spots at once, in Petersburg and there. And let's start building this up. All right. And start fucking around with Stalin. Because that just sounds like the most hilarious thing to do. And it makes more sense, right? We don't really like the socialists because we have problems with socialism in our country, especially after the First World War. There, this, there are problems. There are strikes and that kind of stuff. There was, there's a, a lot of 
not the great area, basically, uh, in history. Um, so, undermining it. This actually makes a slight minor historical sense. Uh, Portugal seeks helps for purchase British ships. We receive an off-map civilian factory. Okay. I do not know what Portugal is going for. Well, how that... Because they're supporting the Spanish nationalists. So what did they do that got me involved? England. Ah, uh, United Kingdom, actually. United... You... Jesus, learn typing. So that... What they probably did was strict... No? United... Okay. Um... Might be in here. Let's see. No. British guns. No. British industrial investment. No. Wait, what? Owns... United Kingdom... Hmm. But they go here. So that's definitely not what they've been doing. Then what the hell did they do? United... Huh. I have no idea what they did. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's 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 okay. I'll I'll allow it basically. Mercy's two up. And I'll look at that later when the war starts. I will figure out what I want to do with that. Um So yeah, let's let's just use our espionage network to start creating all right, these guys are of course working on their infiltration of their of the things, um, and you will just create the network required for anything else. Um, right, nice. I didn't know we had an infantry expert, and I love it. Is there anything of real uh, victory ship, air power, rocket scientist, nuclear scientist, bomber Harris? This guy was an asshole. I wouldn't say an asshole, but um, maybe I would actually say this. Bomber Harris was uh, not a great guy. He had his uh, theories about how to beat the Germans, which were not in favor. Okay, so the Allies are usually just portrayed as really the good guys. Just read up on Bomber Harris and you'll, uh, you'll change your opinion a little bit. The Germans were bad. Don't just... They don't forget that, but becomes the owner and controller of aid and gains return to our territory. We gain a large amount of manpower toward dominion and independence. So yeah, we'll decolonize it in the entirety, but this requires. All of them. I might ignore this one though, because this will release Pakistan. Is there any benefit for me to doing it? No. No, there isn't. Right. Um. All right, let's do this. This is probably gonna kill our economy, but I think I like the idea of playing the about as big as democracy as I can. Every freedom for everyone, which is weird considering we're England and we have the largest colonial empire that has ever existed in the world, but hey. All right, we're switching towards mobile warfare. That is what I want. I don't want to spend anything else on that right now. We're getting, well, might as well do the Harker. Yeah, we're still 96, Jesus. Um. But actually, I'm going to end the episode here. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you hopefully in the next one. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.